Today we are going to be answering this question, that is question 9, in our data science question and answer series. And the question says, what do you understand by Nandaraya metal? Well, this question is kind of theoretical, although I'm going to remind you right now to subscribe to my channel, so that if you have any other question you want to ask, then you can leave it for me in the comment box section, then I'm going to answer it. So what do you understand by Nadaraya method? So as I mentioned, this question is a theoretical one, and I actually wanted to I actually wanted to avoid uh, handling this question, but as it is, I'm going to just answer it uh, just so that you know that there is something like Nadaraya method. All right. So now there are method applies in regression. So keep in mind that if you are talking about another method, we are talking about regression. And we're also talking about um, bivariate data, right? So we are talking about bivariate data, all right? So let's take the definition I have on my website, then we go ahead to make a little explanation. Well, this is going to be short. I don't want to spend time on this. The Nadaraya method is a technique. Meanwhile, let me just give you the name of the guy, this Nadaraya, his real name uh, is a mathematician called Elisba Nadaraya. Elisba Nadaraya, he for actually Nadaraya. Who actually came out with this method. So it's a technique for estimating unknown parameter of a regression function that is suitable for situation where the data comes from a joint probability uh, distribution f of x y. So what we are saying is that we have a bivariate data such that we have something like uh, let's uh, take a different color. When you have x one y one x2, y2, have uh, uh, x3, y3, all the way to xn, yn. So this is a bivariate data. So what we mean here is that we have uh, we have x and y, which are data coming from assumed to come from the same joint probability distribution. So what we are interested in now is function of x and y, right? Good. So the model is something like this. I like changing the paint. So the model is something like this. Yi is equal to m of xi plus some error ei. Of course, you know that i is 1 to n. Now, this mi is unknown. So, m, this function mm is unknown. Is, is unknown. Unknown. So, for me, I, I think I'm not, you may not have to spend any time on this. Just, just know it that. In data science, you may come across the error method. And remember that we are talking about regression, bivariate data, and the two uh, uh, the two uh, points are coming from assumed to be coming from a uh, a, a joint probability distribution. So this the error this error function error we have here e. Uh, EI satisfies, so we have, now I'm not going to explain this, I'm just writing it for your information, is equal to zero, expected value is equal to zero, the variance in this error term, of course is the variance in the error term, and the covariance, covariance in this for different error times is equal to zero as well, where i is not equal to zero. So this is all about the Nadaria method. Sometimes it's called Nadaria Watson. So sometimes you call you have you may have hear something like Nadaria Watson. 
So it's all the same procedure we are talking about. I'm going to stop here. I'd like to thank you for viewing and also subscribe to my channel. And in the last question in this series, of course, we don't have only 10 questions. We have several questions, but this is the site 1 to 10, and the next is going to be um, 21 to 30. So in the next question, we are now going to discuss what is factor analysis.